Oh, and if you guys are wondering why there's a fridge in the office room and my old room, I've got a freaking idea, honestly. I don't know. I do not know. I think there's a space in the kitchen or something. Yeah. By school, there's a kitchen. So like, every time I see me pop something it gets me to eat, I just quickly around here, which is like five steps from my desk. Yeah. everyone doing? It's currently 6 or 5 a.m. in the morning, obviously because it ends in the morning. I 6 o'clock is my usual wake up time, no matter how hot, how cold, what the situation is, that's my usual wake up time. And it is currently way too freaking early for this YouTube crap, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so this is going to be super confusing, I know, because at the start of this video I was filming this at around 6 a.m. Friday morning and right after the first part which you guys just saw I filmed obviously the second part which was literally done at 6 30 Friday morning a.m. and now it is Sunday afternoon well Sunday evening actually it's nearly it's nearly 5 30 in the afternoon so what happened was that for some reason my editing platform malfunctioned somehow and now every time I get to a certain point in the video from Friday it just completely glitches out and shuts down literally the whole computer so I have to retake the second part of what you guys would have been seeing on Friday but then the confusing part is going to be right after this one it's going to jump back to the usual the rest of the video on Friday so bear with me it's going to be really complicated but basically what I said in that video was that now I'm ready to do YouTube the very hard work of going through a YouTube video, making one, editing one, etc, etc. So with that being said, I would appreciate it if you guys can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Please, those two, really thing, those two things really help out and it's free. It's really free. So I'll wait for you to press the like button and subscribe button. I'm assuming you guys have done it already because like who, who wouldn't, which is why wouldn't you? But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as you can see by the title of the video it's dealing with possible possibly anxiety in lockdown or maybe to prevent it from coming back to you for those who have previously struggled with it like myself so tip number one i've got seven tips throughout this whole video like you guys will see um, on how you can prevent anxiety or even help it go away in this current period of lockdown and quarantine wherever you are in the world i'm mainly talking to the south africans because we're currently still in quite a severe strict regulated lockdown so tip number one is get enough sleep and have a consistent sleeping schedule so why this is important is two reasons number one sleeping having a consistent sleeping schedule it um, regulates your circadian rhythms now this is basically your internal clock so if you go to sleep every night at 10 and you wake up at um, 6 a.m which is what i usually do to get that eight hours of sleep which is also very important that is your internal clock now your body knows okay this is when you go to sleep this is when you wake up so it and the crazy thing is get the circadian rhythm is right it sets your mood for in the entire day the second thing is serotonin gets produced um when you sleep at night and the best the certain types where it's the most effective serotonin is like literally the recharger of your body that's when everything recharges and the most effective times efficient um, times of serotonin is at midnight so between 12 and 2 and it's preferable that you be sleeping and and two hours or at least an hour before that serotonin starts time is at its most efficient so really the importance i cannot stress enough the importance of having a good consistent sleeping schedule so yeah that was number two I mean, sorry, that was tip number one. Now let's go back to everything back Friday morning. So yeah, what I said in the previous back then was now it's time to go make the essential of all essentials. So yeah, see you guys 
uh, how am I gonna say this? See you guys two days ago. But of course, coffee is the essential, the life essential, because coffee is otherwise known as the juice of life. Do you know that? So cheers, people. To a great day. Number two, have a daily routine. Well, I wouldn't say a daily routine, because daily routine is difficult, especially in a time like this, where like, we don't exactly always know how the day is going to look like. But at least have a morning routine at least from when you wake up for the first few hours, like three to five hours, maybe until breakfast or something like that. Um, and I would say get the most difficult tasks done in the morning. Why? Because the brain is the most efficient and the most effective early in the morning before you eat on an empty stomach. Don't ask me the science behind that, I'm not exactly sure why, but that's what I have read. I will do some research on why that is. Um, what I do in the morning, I wake up, make coffee as you saw, um, check email, blah blah, then I actually do a bit of reading. Currently we're reading The Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith, founding father of capitalism. And yeah, so I read a bit. I would usually go for a run, but I injured my foot last week um, doing a half marathon. I kind of overdid my foot a little bit, so yeah. So I can't currently run, so I've substituted that for reading and doing a bit of work in the morning and then working out. So yeah guys, stick to that morning routine. Make a morning routine and stick to it because it's very, very important because it almost sets the mood for the entire day if you get your morning right. Trust me, it works. So that's tip number two, have a morning routine. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why there's a fridge in the office room and my old room, I've got a freaking idea, honestly. I don't know. I do not know. I think there's no space in the kitchen or something. Yeah. But it's cool. There's a kitchen. So like every time I see to pop something to get something to eat, I just quickly around here, which is like five steps from my desk. Yeah. Alright, so number three is exercise. Get out and do some exercise. Like seriously, get out, go for a run. You don't have to go for a long run. Go for a run for 20 minutes, half an hour. If you don't want to run, even just go for a walk or you know, a quick half an hour up to an hour, you know, just so that you can get that morning sunlight with the vitamin D. Not that there's really a sun out today, but you, you guys get what I'm saying. And also so that you can just breathe in the fresh oxygen, you know, just, just, you know, just breathe a bit and get out in the open, get some light onto your skin, etc., etc. Um, obviously, I would actually be running now, or I would have ran earlier, but as I explained, before my foot is kind of screwed up a bit so I'm giving it like a week to two weeks rest because I hurt the ligaments in my foot while increasing my mileage way too quickly and way too much and way too fast um, yeah but honestly just get out there even if it's for half an hour every morning just to get that sunlight when there's sunlight and also that fresh air so yeah tip number three exercise just because I can't run because I hurt my foot doesn't mean I can't work out. So yeah, we need to drink calisthenics. That's what I've been doing most of the mornings, just you know to maintain that fitness and also build some muscle strength. So yeah.
pretty much ready to guarantee that whether you are working at home or studying at home, most people, like probably like 80% of people's screen time has gone up at least 100% um, because of the whole lockdown situation and all that, which is completely understandable because everything's online, so we all need to be online. So what I do encourage is, now I would have ideally liked to go outside to kind of express my point, but it's freaking raining, so as usual, every idea that I have fails for my video. So yeah, but the, the fourth point is that every half an hour or at the very least every hour make sure you stand up get away from the screen leave your phone at your desk where the laptop is and just walk around for a bit you know if you can go outside when it's not raining like now because you know cape town weather who knows whatever goes on over there um go outside just breathe a little bit get in some fresh air walk around a bit just let the blood flow maybe do some push-ups whatever it is but just every half an hour to like i said at least every hour make sure to get away from the screen including your phone and just look around admire breathe and stretch whatever yeah so that's my fourth tip get away from the screen my fifth tip is make sure that you stay in constant touch and communicate with your friends and the people who would, you would usually see on not a daily basis but you know a couple times a week you guys would usually go out and have a night out or go eat together or spend some time game together you know video call these people schedule time to maybe game together with them watch movies together on netflix for example and you know just stay in touch just so that you don't lose that social aspect which is funny enough especially for people who are more extroverted a very important part in life do not lose that at all. I would even go so far as to say, schedule a coffee time, you know, once a week with your friends, even during a lockdown, you know, um, go have a quick coffee in the mornings, you know, obviously subject to the laws of your country or state or province. Um, but also make sure it is a um, social distance coffee, like, you know, keep your social distance, you absolute psychos. But yeah, seriously, number five, stay in touch with your friends and the people you care about. Make sure you're, you stay in touch with your family, people around you, etc., etc. Oh, hey, what's up? I didn't see you there. Sorry, my bad. Um, my sixth tip is eat healthy. Now this one I know is by far the hardest because in lockdown, during quarantine, during this whole coronavirus situation, 99% of the time you are at home working, studying, chilling, doing whatever, right? Even working out, hanging out with your friends virtually, etc. You are 99, probably even 0.9% of the time at home. So it is, what is the most inviting thing when you are home? The fridge. Because why? You literally walk there, Open it up and you see, hmm, there's an uneaten piece of cake, or there's a Coke, or there's this and that. Now, fortunately, I make sure that we don't buy any of those things, so that I'm not tempted by those sort of, sort of things. But I know most people have those in store, sweet, etc., etc. And I know just how inviting and how good it feels and just how yeah, inviting it is to eat those things during the lockdown. But it doesn't help with anxiety, with feeling good or anything at all. In fact, it probably only if you continue to do that, you know, once a week, twice a week is fine, but if you continue to do that behavior, it's going to build up and make you eventually feel worse because of sugar overdose, because of just your body is going to feel less strong, your energy level is going to be lower, um, your body's um, um, serotonin and the energy producing is on, not going to be as efficient. So. It's literally gonna make you just feel worse. So trust me, I know it's hard, but eat healthy and eat clean, especially during a time like this, but also just generally in life, but yeah, especially in a time like this. Yeah, and bam. And finally, number seven, last but definitely not the least. It's probably the most important one, but it can't be done alone because you, oh, actually, it almost sets the track for all of the ones that I mentioned before. So if I had to do an order, I think I would have done this one first because it sets all the others in motion. So 
lastly, number seven, remember to stay positive. Absolutely, do your best to stay positive. Wake up every morning, put a smile, you know, try to get out of bed, do those first tasks. Make sure that you start the day on a positive note, keep positive, think positive, think happily. You know, laugh a bit, laugh a lot during the day, call up friends, joke around, watch funny videos, um, smile because, you know, I want to challenge you and I want to say here now that 90% of people, if you put a smile on your face, like literally you smile, you can't think a negative thought. It's almost impossible. I'm ready to say that 90, even 95 people. Try, try it now. Put a smile on your face, smile and try to think of a negative thought. You can't, it's almost impossible. Now, I want to take it even a step further and I guarantee, I'm ready to bet on this, that 100% of people, if you laugh, and laugh a lot, even if you've had the crappiest day that you can think of, if you laugh, for those few seconds or few minutes, depending on how long you laugh, people like, yeah, I, for me, I can go on laughing pretty disturbingly long. But, other than that, most people who aren't actually psycho like myself laugh for a couple of seconds and I'm ready to guarantee that for those couple of seconds everything will fade away. All the problems, everything and you'll just enjoy and be happy and laugh this year. Guys, seriously, stay positive throughout the situation. It is so important. It sets everything into motion. It really does. So that's it. Those seven tips are what I have been doing. Uh, to make sure that that anxiety that I really struggled with last year doesn't come back and literally haunt me during this time which I'm almost sure if I hadn't done these things it would have because last year a lot of these same sort of patterns that the lockdown has is what I was doing last year um, to uh, in the first place have this anxiety so I made sure to do these seven things so that I don't have to worry about that and just make this whole lockdown period even harder than it already is. So let me re quickly recap on those seven things. Number one, a good sleeping schedule. Number two, have a daily routine. If, in, if not that, at least a morning routine. I don't have a daily routine, but I have a morning routine. Number three, exercise. Get outside, go for a run, a short run or a long run. Go for a walk, a long walk or a short walk. Just go outside and breathe in that fresh oxygen and get that vitamin D from the sun. Number four, whether you are just at home or working or studying, make sure to get off away from the laptop app and the phone for a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes, walk around a bit every half an hour or at least an hour. Number five, stay in touch with your friends and your families and your loved one. Make an effort to communicate with them and even depending once again on the regulations um, of your country, province or state, Make sure to keep in touch with them and even see them. Number six, eat healthy. Very important, make sure you eat clean and healthy despite how hard it is, it's worth it, trust me. And number, number seven, stay positive. And yeah, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure once again you like and subscribe. Make sure again you like and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell so you know when I release some more dope videos like these. And yeah guys, that's it. End of vlog. See you guys in the next one. Peace out legends. Bye bye.